it is possible to do attendance using a combination of Teams, Forms, and the attendance and the assignment feature inside of Teams. So the previous video showed using Forms to create a quiz, linking that to the assignment feature, and doing a basically a daily one question quiz that logs and records everything. Um, and so it's really easy for you to assign points and monitor. However, the question was posed, can we just have ongoing attendance in one large document? So you lose the auto calculation and you use the scoring, but you only have to have a single attendance form and you only have to make it once. So there's, there's a, a lot of upsides to that in terms of saving time. The answer is yes. You can have just one form that is used every day and you only have to post it once. Let me show you how that works. First, you need to go to forms and inside of forms you need to make a new form. Now I've already done that. It's a form, it is not a quiz, it's a form. Okay, and then I've added I'm here, yes, and what is today's date? This was really just for me to confirm the data was working, but this does have some upsides. You can have the student like confirm they're here and check the date. This date should match obviously the day of the class. This is optional, you don't have to do it. Next, you wanna to go to the three dots and open this up and go to settings. You wanna make sure that record name is ticked, but you don't want this. You want this unticked. Accept responses, none of this should be ticked. Um, I think this is a good idea. Send email to recipient, uh, receipt to recipient or respondents and get email notifications. This might be annoying if you have a lot of students, so if you don't want to be annoyed, turn that off. Then you want to go to share, and only people in my organization, yes, that's what you want, and copy. Now, I am back in my team, this is my classroom. You want to go in here and you want to go to the plus sign and hit website. I'm going to paste that long URL in here, save it. Now you have a class attendance tab. So posts, files, assignments, class attendance. Now I'm going to jump over to my student view and I'm going to move my student view over here so we can kind of look at them together. Um, as you can see, my student view and I'm going to make sure it's updated, so I'm going to leave and come back. Yep, class attendance, and there's the attendance form. If the student is not authenticated or hasn't signed into their email in a while, they may have to sign in, but the sign-in screen is here. So yes, I'm here. Today's date, let's just put, uh, I'm going to put the 25th, just because it'll be easy to see in the sample, submit. And every day when they come in, they get a new form. And if you have a student that just keeps submitting all the forms on the same day, it's really easy for you to uh, see that and deal with it. All right. Now to see all the data, you've got to go back into forms. So that's it's not in your team. It's in forms. And it's here under responses. So you can see I have these four responses. Um, I would recommend that you don't try to use all this graphical stuff because after a couple days it's going to be really hard for you to read it. If you just hit open in Excel, you'll see. So the dates should match, like the 12th should match the 12th. This one obviously doesn't so you know they weren't paying attention or there's messing around. And uh, this is my fake information for the student. My student's name is onboarding, but it'll have their first and last name and their email address. So it's pretty easy for you to know that, you know, their attendance is done. And then obviously you can filter by an individual student. So once all your students do it, their names will start to populate. And if you want to just check an individual student's attendance, you can do that uh, just by filtering their name.
So I hope that was helpful, and this is just another way to do attendance in Microsoft Teams.